I'm just trying to think of what to say. Yeah. Same. Welcome to season four of Flick Fanatics. I'm Matt, one of the co-hosts. And I'm, I'm Jackson, uh, another one of the co-hosts. And uh, today we saw Gone Girl. Uh, we're kind of getting close to Oscar season here. Um, Gone Girl. I saw Gone Girl. Yeah, directed by David Fincher. Stars Ben Affleck. Rosamund Pike, Neil Patrick Harris, Tyler Perry. It's such a weird cast. Um, right? Very diverse. There's more people that we recognize. I recognize one of the cops was uh, a guy from Risk Cutters, Patrick Fugit. Fugit? Fugit. Fug it. He's a really good actor. Um, Fugit. Why not? You know? With his wife's dis disappearance having become the focus of an intense media circus, a man sees a spotlight turned on him when it's suspected that he may not be innocent. Wow. What what more can one say? That's so vague about though. that like, movie. You know. I know, but the magic is the vagueness of you know all the trailers, all the ads, all that stuff. I will say this: this is such a dark, gripping story. This is a drama that acts as a thriller in a lot of ways, and it's very psychological. Very all psychological. Like, not just the story itself on the screen, but the minds that, you know, the thoughts that go through your head while watching this is really just, that's what makes it. Like, how it makes us feel as viewers, I guess. Yeah. Because it, Matt put it perfectly, uh, gripping, you're on the edge of your seat the entire time, me personally, I was sitting up a lot. I know. I actually crossed, noticed that. Yeah. Hand up, my you know, like I was this lucky here, here, a lot. Check like, this out. I was lucky that I didn't have anyone next to me on my left, so I was able to just use that seat as I wish. So when something crazy happened, I would just throw my whole body and go. Oh. This movie pulls you one way, it pulls you another way, it pulls you this way and that and it way. Punches you in the stomach just a couple times. Yeah, this movie's just just see it. And decide for yourself what you think. Performances of the ages. By far Ben Affleck's greatest role. One of them. I yeah. Hands them, down sure. though, honestly, he kills it. He kills it, kills it, kills it, kills it. Yeah, he, he really owns the role. He plays Nick Dunn, and it's just like oh, man. He yeah, he really does a great he job. Kills and it. so you know, Tyler Perry Surprisingly, Tyler Perry comes in. The clutch. Great job. Trent Reznor does did the it. score. Yeah. Nine Inch Nails fame. Um, should have worn my shirt. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been in good taste. Yeah. I should have grew my nails out for a while. Nine inches. Just nine inches. Yeah. Brian. Nine Inch Nails. Bring some Nine Inch Nails up on the screen. First run through, I'm, I'm going to give this a perfect score. Whatever scale, you know, you want to go by, I give it a perfect score. This is a movie that has me thinking. This is a real thinker, kind of like when I told you Hercules, kind of like that. It's thinker. Yeah, but this is like real. It makes you think you know, a This lot. honestly makes and you think. The entire way through, you're you're almost a uh, part of the story. Yeah, not to take away you know credibility from this comparing it to Hercules, but it's two different types of thought. Hundred percent. Hundred percent, and a couple uh, extra credit points for a cool opening uh, credit sequence. Cool opening credit sequence. Just the way the credits rolled across the screen. They just kind of like, flashed for like a little and bit. And they cut when those ended. Very, it, very cool it, it opening. cut the, you know, the shot. Mm -hmm. Everything mm -hmm. about this movie was just ideal. Like, perfect. Like, they didn't fuck around with anything. There's, I didn't see any um, continuity errors. And I'm a, I'm a guy who looks for those. I gotta look for those in Breaking Bad. That's my favorite show. I've only seen two, the entire show. And if this has less continu continuity errors than Breaking Bad, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah, it's it's the perfect movie. Perfect movie, best movie of the year. Great time for it to come out too. Ideal time. It's a good time. Early to come October. Out. Check it out. 
if if Interstellar doesn't top this, it's uh, best picture nom winner. Can't wait to do Oscar coverage. Oh God, this is gonna be part of it. Perfect, because this movie uh, this movie is not uh, you know not alone with being an amazing movie of the year. And then we got more to come. So Dracula Untold next week. Let's check it out. We'll check it out. Not Oscar worthy. It's not gonna get anything. Like I don't think so. Looks kind of cheesy. Looks really stupid. Uh, Sounds like my kind of movie. I can't wait. Yeah, he'll love I'm it. I'm excited. Now we'll see. It, it, yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll give it a fair shot. You know, that's we'll just see. my initial opinion, and uh, I'm gonna try to get. You know, I'm gonna give it a fair shot. Good. Right on. Give it a fair shot. Thanks for watching. See you next week for see Greg. Gone Girl. See it. Check it out. It's really see it. Buy two tickets. Wouldn't buy experience. three tickets. Don't let anybody sit next to you. And you gotta wonder after you see it, like what's next for Batman? Yeah, he's starting. Batman vs Superman is next. I can't wait. Oh yeah. And Ben Affleck, how are you gonna top yourself in Gone Girl? I'm gonna play Batman. You got my money. Yeah, you got my money, Ben Affleck. I love you. He's a great actor. He's a guy. He's Chasing Amy. It leads you like 